ordering parts and services with SAP Ariba tools. Let's start with Peter, the maintenance guy. He needs to make sure that everything always works and is available. For example, this generator, who has become a little bit old right now. To get this work done, it's rather simple. You just need to open his mobile device and access guided buying. And from there, he can access his homepage. And at this point, he's going to just search for the parts that he needs. The system suggests the available parts. You select that one. And it's just a matter of shopping like you do online. Normally, you add it to your cart. Review what you've purchased in the quantity, etc. And verify maybe who's going to have to approve. In this case, Gene Hallis. There you go. Peter sends the request. Now, Gene, his manager, is a very busy man. And at the moment, he is in a coffee queue. So better put the time to good work. He opens up his app and looks at what he has to approve. There he has it. He's got Peter's generator request. So he can review the details of that order. And because he's spoken to Peter a bit before, he just goes ahead and approves it. Provides a little thank you. And it's gone. He can move to the next thing to approve. Now, at this point, this has automatically become a purchase order and it has been sent to the supplier. The supplier now looks at this purchase order. He could decide to confirm it or even send a shipping notice. But for sake of time, he's going to skip to the invoice directly. And the invoice is basically a mirror of the purchase order with all the details. And maybe the supplier needs to check taxes and things like this. Everything is fine. He can submit his invoice, which will be auto reconciled with the purchase order on EDF system. Now, Peter sometimes also needs to order services. Things needs to be maintained. Now, to do this, he's going to use the same system, guided buying. And because this is something he often does, he's got a shortcut on his home page. He goes to this pump maintenance service form, provides a little bit of extra description to the supplier of what needs to be done, and will add this to his shopping cart the same way you've just seen for the generator. This will be sent to approval if needed. Then the supplier will come on site and do the work. In this case, it'll take six hours of standard hours and two extra expensive hours to finish the maintenance. So the supplier needs to explain this. And for this, he's going to create a service entry sheet. The service entry sheet is based on a contract or on an open PO. And in here, he can access the terms of this contract. In this case, the time. So he can select standard hours and overtime rate, provide six hours of standard and two hours of overtime. And because those prices are in the contract, there is limited space to make mistakes. So the supplier provides extra details to help Peter figure out what was the work and what has been done on each one of those line items. And when this is all done, he can send the service entry sheet to Peter for review. A last check on his service entry sheet, link to this PO. He sees the line items and all the details, and he can submit and see that it's partially serviced. Now, this process makes Peter pretty happy because he used to fill all this information himself in the past. Now, all he needs to do is to go onto his dashboard and check his to-do list. In this case, he needs to approve something, the service entry sheet you, we've just seen. He's got all the details that were provided by the supplier, but also he can check what has been invoiced, what is outstanding, and what is still available on this project or on this contract. So he can look at the details, make the decision, verify if the work was in order, and approve the service entry sheet. At this point, the supplier will be able to convert this service entry sheet into an invoice, just like we saw in the first scenario. So at the end of the day, it's not just about Peter and Jean working together to send a purchase order to the supplier. It goes further than this. It has to do with compliance from a purchase order that was approved 
where the supplier provide himself the documentation to verify if the service was properly delivered. So when that the invoice comes in, it matches. So this is what this process looks like using the SAP Ariba tools.